What's the worst HR is not your friend story you've witnessed experienced? Pulled into a meeting with two HR reps in the middle of my shift. Taken to this really nice boardroom. Which was confusing because I was just a grunt and this is literally floors above where I should ever be. They sat me down and said basically what do you have to say for yourself? Me. Still confused. Tells them I have no idea what they're talking about. Everyone is really quiet and serious and I'm scared less. And they say you know what you did. This is cause for termination. Blah blah. I'm literally thinking this is really excessive for being a few minutes late sometimes. I insist I don't know what's going on. One of them maybe realized something was wrong and flips open a file and says you're xx right? Turns out they got me mixed up with someone else who has the same name. On the elevator ride down by myself I was still sweating. Don't know what that other person did but man. HR does not play. I went to HR to report that my team's manager was illegally shorting all of our paychecks. HR's response was to adopt a new company-wide policy addressing the paycheck issue and back paying most people for a certain amount. And also to frame me for work avoidance. HR and IT disabled part of my login account to a tool we used. And then fired me a few months later after failing to fix the problem and allowing me to actually do my job. They tried to deny my unemployment claim afterward. Told the unemployment rep that they had logs showing that I did something to break the tool I don't even have access to break in the first place. They also didn't think to disable my email access in a timely manner. So I was able to back up all my emails with IT documenting exactly what went down. Unemployment approved my claim and hit them with a major penalty to their insurance. HR ordered me to downgrade my three excellent employee reviews to satisfactory because management didn't recognize their names. I got written up for telling my employees this. HR denied that they told me anything. Even though I had the emails from them documenting it. Totally worth it. My employees were excellent and got the raises they deserved. The HR payroll manager at a small hospital I worked at had a bad habit of not paying out the sign-on bonus that was paid out incrementally in three payments through the course of a year and sign-on bonuses for picking up extra shifts. After repeated requests to be belatedly compensated. I took it to corporate to address my issue immediately. A couple weeks later I was terminated on what amounted to a technicality where I forget my badge one shift and my relief was late to take over sitting with a patient. Causing me to receive more points against me than if I had called out for that shift. When I was called in to receive my notification. The director of nursing was shocked but ultimately not much he could do. Overall I've been able to get along with HR departments with one exception. I was working a help desk job for a company during college and the head of HR called in for help. He was making an excel spreadsheet and couldn't figure out how to make a formula do what he wanted. I offered to come take a look as we were in the same building and he told me I couldn't because the spreadsheet was full of confidential information. So I asked then if he could describe what exactly he was trying to do without giving away any specific info. And he told me that what he was trying to do was confidential. So I clarified that he wanted me to tell him how to do something but I couldn't see it and he wouldn't even tell me what it was he was trying to do. At that point he agreed that I wouldn't be able to assist him since he couldn't divulge anything. As soon as we hung up he called my boss to complain that I was useless. I worked at a smallish company that grew big enough to hire a HR person. Her office was down from mine so in the mornings I'd swing by and say hi. That turned into grabbing a cup of coffee she had just made. The into having a pastry and talking about life. I found that if I mentioned someone's name in passing. A few minutes later she would spill the beans about that person's life. What work issues they had. Health issues. Family issues etc. I learned really quick any issues I had not to take them to her. She made it like 6 months before she got fired. HR hired consultants to run morale building employee input sessions. Basically saying we're not from the company. You can tell us all the things you don't like about working here and would like to see change and we'll put it all into a report for management. Don't worry. Everything is anonymous. 
We just need material for our report and you guys get to have your say in improving things around here. Turns out HR and the consultants recorded all the sessions and played the highlights for management. People were disciplined for criticizing the company or their immediate superiors and any shred of faith or trust in management that the employees may have had was instantly incinerated. Managers now complain that they don't know what's going on in their teams because nobody tells them anything. I wonder why. HR person used her position to collect intel to get people she didn't like fired. At my last real job before striking out on my own I had an exit interview with the HR lady. Who was actually just someone who was friends with the company president who was filling in because the actual HR lady with a degree in HR and everything quit. A lot of people at this place quit. It was a terrible place to work with out of touch management and delusions of grandeur limping along building websites for a business niche that was mostly old people who thought the internet was magic. During the exit interview she asked why I was leaving. I told her I liked my co-workers a lot. But hated the company. She got this exasperated look and got genuinely upset. And told me that she'd been getting that same line from everybody else who quit and had their exit interview recently. It boggled my mind that they could hear the same thing over and over again from so many people putting in their time until they could go on to something better and not stop to think they should change something. This post has reminded me that people quit bad bosses. Not bad jobs. Humans can tolerate very bad situations if they feel appreciated. After 4 years on the job. I was given a first and final warning for asking why the hell HR was behind a locked door and now dominated over half the first floor. Filled with new furniture that was unused after 6 months. Meanwhile. My chair was taken by another employee and I was told to use the chair without padding. An executive from another department heard my complaint. Stole one of the unused chairs from the HR expansion. And gave it to me. Explaining that if I did it. I'd be fired. She did it daring them to fire her. Not HR but heed my warning. Don't type anything into your work computer that you wouldn't say directly to your company's HR person's face. I have seen people had cases built against them for poor work and ultimately fired for the they say over Skype. I reported SZL harassments to HR at a large international company when I was 21. They notified my harasser, an older VP, before I even made it back to my desk. I was fired a few days later. Despite an excellent performance review the week before he propositioned me. Su 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 Upon giving two weeks notice. I get this stupid rant about millennial snowflakes. How we can't take the stress of a real job. And how we think we're so important and unique. But in reality the only thing that would happen. Is that they would find another engineer to fill in for me. And things would be like I never existed. After the initial shock. I replied whether you are absolutely correct. Me staying or not is meaningless. Consider my resignation immediate from this moment. Please give me the paperwork to sign. If I had a dollar for every boomer that called me a millennial snowflake. I'd be able to buy a house in the market they destroyed. HR was the boss's sister and the boss was a narcissist. The sister HR had very little actual life experience because they both came from a big pharma family and never really had a sense of what working a real job was like. Boss could do no wrong in his sister's eyes. So complaining about anything just got you gaslit. Glad I'm not there anymore. At my job we used to hire a few special needs individuals who would do some cleaning and light duty things. One day one of them did something wrong. It was very minor but I can't remember the specifics. And the manager said out loud. Right next to this guy. Why do we keep hiring these s? And referred to his job coach as his handler. One of the girls that saw it happen was rightfully ed off and reported it to HR. The next day she was put on unpaid leave for creating a hostile work environment. Same manager is still here. She is not. During an exit interview with my last job HR asked me where I was going to next. HR. So what's the name of the company you are moving to next? Me. I'm not really comfortable disclosing that. HR. Are you sure? 
It would really help us out. Me. I'd rather not say. HR. It's company policy that you need to tell us. Me. I said no and if you continue further you'll be hearing from my lawyer. HR. Shocked Pikachu face. Told my old boss this after I left and he was absolutely shocked. HR have no right to know anything about the next place you are moving to. It's literally none of their business but they tried to press it out of me anyway. More than likely to call them up and talk about me. Comma HR. It's company policy that you need to tell us. What are you going to do? Fire me? A skilled nursing facility I worked at got bought out by another company. New management comes in and starts cracking the whip and basically doing everything they can to decrease morale. What happens is predictable. People that have been employed in the building for 20 years start quitting left and right. Patient ratios start going up while more work is required. They lose so much staff they resort to using a medical staffing agency and the place has about half the staff on payroll to actually function independently. That management team has all left but the effects are still withstanding. Not the type of answer you were looking for but. When the stupid. I'm. Self absorbed. Airhead I'm twat HR person replied to spam email allegedly from the boss. And sent all the info for all 400 employees. Everything on your job application. Sent to scammers. Thanks. Our HR always abuses the company budget. They have the nicest ergonomic keyboards. A fancy coffee machine in their office. And are the first to receive gifts from vendors. One time they did a food tasting for the company year end party that they were organizing. Catering company allowed two people for food tasting. And will charge $100 for additional people. The entire HR department went in the afternoon and charged the company for the tasting fee. Of course. I used the term OSI off as an osage at last in an unofficial online forum. Someone alerted a corporate recruiter who managed to dig through my previous posts, connect dots, narrow down who I was, and have the head of HR terminate my job offer without discussion. Never knew OSI was considered profanity. Probably better off you don't work somewhere that idiotic. Worked in HR for a time. And it soured my view of HR more than any stories I'd heard. One incident that stands out in my memory was a young casual worker who accused her boss of SSL harassment. I dutifully brought it up the chain. But the higher ups did not care if the boss had done anything or not, the cost of not giving her any more hours was zero. So that's what they did. Semicolon. That's just one case that I dealt with. But you'd see it on a daily basis. There were literally pop up notifications on the phone calls and emails from people deemed too high up to refuse. You're a part time employee who's done everything right. Hasn't been paid in two months. And can't make rent? Oh. Out of luck. Nothing we can do. Meanwhile. Their boss who forgot to put in a timesheet? Of course sir. Expedited payment sir. Will be in your account by close of business sir. Semicolon. HR is there protect the business. You want protection? Join a union. My ex's mom was in HR. She was pretty damn crappy about it and loved nothing more than coming home and telling us all the drama and gossip oh my lord girl and that's how I found out my married physician at the time was stopping the married doctor in the next office over. That woman could not keep her damn mouth shut. Hilarious for me at the time. But holy looking back. I reported my boss to HR for SZS treatment. HR said they'd talk to me again before going to him. He fired me two days later. HR at his side. He was friends with all of the higher ups. So I wasn't exactly surprised. They escorted me out before I could collect what I needed from my computer for proof. Yeah. I was young and dumb. And I learned. Have backups. The last real job I had before the hit the fan. Not counting a stint at a call center. Was working for a Dodd contractor. The company got bought out by another contractor. And they shuffled some of us around. About halfway through my stint at a new location. I started having some serious problems with one of the leads. 
Basically guys that were one step below the supervisor. Long story short. This guy was harassing me. Falsifying records. Claiming I was stealing time. And a laundry list of crap. I went to HR to voice my concerns. Only to have the new HR director take the lead side because they were old friends. I was given one of two options. Either A. Comma they would buy out my remaining contract. Or B. Comma I could accept a transfer to somewhere else. Based on my skill set. I didn't relish the idea of being shuttled off to god knows where. So I'll let them buy out my contract. They paid me about half of what my remaining contract was. And I never looked back. When I complained to a co-worker about a minor dental insurance issue and HR contacted me about it within an hour. Now I know I can't trust neither of you. Edit. Sorry. Drunk and Friday night red lighting equals can't word good. I had an insurance issue that I discussed with one person in HR privately. And mentioned to no one else. My co-worker then asked me about it an hour later. Meaning. My co-worker's buddy in HR must have gossiped about my issue. Which was totally inappropriate. At least it was a small thing. And I learned I cannot trust that particular person in HR. Here in the Netherlands. The government provided almost all of your salary for companies that lost a certain amount of revenue in the lockdown. One of the conditions to apply for this support model. What that a company could not fire anyone. My employer decided it was more valuable to one a colleague of mine. Than to make sure the other 30 or so colleagues had food on their plates and a roof over their head. LPT. GTFO of any company that calls you and your colleagues family. Edit. Since this has gotten some traction. And because I'm Dutch. An anesthesiologist I worked with refused to keep his mask on at the end of a surgery. Even though it's required to keep the room sterile in case we would need to reopen. Emergently. I asked him again to put his mask back on and he hit my arm. I got in his face about it and told him to never touch me or anyone else again. I wrote an incident report which went ignored. And followed up with HR. HR lady replied. Well. What do you want me to do about it? After I relayed what happened. I replied. Your job and then silence from her. Never had a good experience from HR. The asshole anesthesiologist finally got fired after 5 more nurses came forward saying he hit them. As well. Went to HR on Tuesday because even though I enrolled in benefits. And my health insurance premium is coming out of my paycheck every week. I never got my ID cards. In fact I called the insurance company and they never heard of me and couldn't help me. HR said they would get back to me. Yeah. Right. I worked in HR and here's my advice. Never. Ever willingly give up any information on phishing questions. Make sure your answers are brief. Succinct and don't elaborate unless absolutely necessary. Don't give second hand information unless it directly impacts you or your work environment. My goal was to protect the bottom line under the guise of employee relations. If you become a headache and disruptive. Regardless if you are in the right. We will find a way to terminate your employment. I spent hours upon hours in training learning how to ask the right questions to get the company's desired results. I will admit this may not be true for all HR departments. But for larger companies we are not your friend and our attitude and pseudo compassion is used as a disarming tactic to obtain the information we're looking for. Despite what you may be told. We do have an agenda. When I started my job. The person that was training me was telling me that a lead in a different department had been sexually harassing her. And she finally told HR about it. HR pulled their chat logs. And since she had called him a dick for calling her a hooker. She also got written up. When I got fired for having depression and being forthcoming about it after getting drowsy when starting a new medication. HR basically said. We sympathize with your position but we are not flexible enough for you. I'd asked for two days off in a year to just spend time at home while I was adjusting to the new meds and having a really time. 
got a letter on my desk from my boss after I came back that was titled with termination of employment and asking me to come to a meeting two days later with HR. I basically went in. Said if you are honestly firing me for having depression that's fine but just admit it and don't say it was for my performance which I know for a damn fact has been fantastic. And they doubled down and said that they were not able to accommodate someone with my unique circumstances. Those s. I worked for a telecommunications company as an engineer and a course came up on some new equipment that the engineers were going to be working on. This course was two weeks abroad in a fancy hotel etc. The HR depth were very friendly with the sales depth and decided that since they were going to sell the product, they would go on the course and not the engineers. Fast forward a month. The sales team come back from the luxury course all having failed it as it was also a technical for them. The engineers now have to start work on equipment that we don't have a clue how to use. Management went I'm mental. Sack the entire HR depth and we never had another one put in place. Company got along just fine without one. I almost got fired from Best Buy in Alabama for missing work to have cancer surgery. That company so hard. Not only did I have cancer surgery I was terrified I'd lose my job at any time. I even got called by HR off the clock between chemo appointments to confirm I was sick. It still frustrates me just thinking about it. GF's friend at Target. Went to HR cause the supervisor was hitting on her. And she constantly turned him down cause she had a BF. And she complained with proof of the manager assisting her and all. She end up getting fired. Nothing happened to the supervisor. I was kinda molested by the head of HR and he got me by using all the wording from the anti-harassment training that he had arranged for the place. At the time. My employer was deciding whether to keep me or can me. And I was very stressed about it. He was the one to decide. I came to have a beating him about it and he made up a bunch of excuses to keep hugging me. The whole time joking by saying. Haha. This is okay right? I have your consent. Right? Go to ask consent. Ha ha ha. I mean who do you go to when it's the head of HR that does this? They had already fired me and he knew it. But didn't tell me. We had another meeting with the head of my division a week or so later. Where they just said. We aren't renewing you. And he tossed a big envelope across the table with all the unemployment stuff. She also does payroll. Lied about getting my late check to me. Said she'd done everything she could. I called her a course and he got it done asap. Yep. There was paperwork for me to do. She didn't know or care. We found a spy camera in our department office. It was shaped like a charging brick and had been recording video and audio all night. We copied the videos off the camera after the offender took it down and left it out on their desk. We took the video file that showed the person sneaking around an employee to remove the camera and turned that in with the information of what happened. That was almost a year ago now and nothing has been done. Getting ready to turn it in ourselves to the FBI. The delicious part is now the company isn't just guilty of two felonies. But also a misdemeanor because it is a crime not to report that crime. Marshmallow futures people. I was working at a 5 star hotel years ago. I was a banquet man so I would set up and tear down events like weddings. Parties. Etc. I knew something was up when as a new guy they left me alone to tear down a huge bar mitzvah and set it up for the NBA. As you could imagine. The room was a mess. I stayed by myself until 5am to tear it down and set up it. Couldn't get it done. Once the morning serving staff came in they complained. I was like this and went home. The next shift I went to H. R to complain. Turns out I was getting suspended for being hostile towards my co-workers. Days later I get a call being told that it would be to separate. If anything good has come from COVID-19 it is knowing how that company has probably lost a ton of money. I remember telling a woman I was dating this story and she was just like that set up. I just quit a job I love due to H. Ah. Our receptionist wore multiple hats and constantly gossiped about personal bossiness and payroll duties also made accusations and hindered everybody's work ethic. 
devalued workers' position to customers. I wrote the owners multiple letters. Even had a state of consensus signed by multiple different employees about her. Well I'm no longer there. A co-worker complained to HR about his manager being too hard on him and ended up getting fired. HR is not your friend. Do not trust them. Now payroll on the other hand. Payroll is your friend. Payroll doesn't give 2s about your problem and you can tell them anything you want. Just here to say hello to Buzzfeed. For when they come here to turn this into an article. White HR lady walked up to the only black employees at the holiday party and asks. Hey. What's the deal with that you can say, N word with hard R, but I can't. Dot. And in the most odd playful and genuinely curious tone.